up, punk. Is it wrong or what? Guys, we got that. We got that Fortnite scar. It's legendary. We're gonna win this game. What do you want? That win? I don't want that scar. Time's up, pal. What's up guys, my name is Forever Owl and uh, today we're going to be doing a nerf review on the nerf mega TS. This is a Fortnite blaster, a large mega magnus. Is it overpriced? Is it worth your money? Let's find out in this review of the nerf tactical shotgun. Included with the blaster is the four mega darts that look like this they have that weird color to them a little attachment rail for your scanner uh, cosmetic piece that goes onto the side of the blaster and of course the blaster itself with the instructions again i don't have those instructions anymore but we'll have to make it do this thing's so big it doesn't even fit all whole, uh fully on my screen going on with the blaster this is a four shot essential mega magnus so uh if you guys don't know what the Mega Magnus is, it's like a pistol that has an internal magazine that loads three darts in, but this one has an extra dart, so it holds a f uh, capacity of four. And uh, this is a pretty nice blaster. Um, let's get into the assembly part. So to assemble this blaster, the first thing you're going to need um, is this little rail part. There are small holes in uh on this little red line, you're going to see that there's a little hole there. You want to take the, the first end of that and put it with the other hole and snap it into place. As you guys can hear here, this is removable, but it's not designed to be removable. Now, uh, with this little piece, there's a large, massive hole on this side of the blaster. So what you want to do is you want to take the orange part, put it in there, and take the little wire and connect it to this little hole that's right here. And that concludes how to build on the cosmetic piece for the Fortnite tactical shotgun. Now on to the overview. Of course, this this barrel or this blaster doesn't have a nerf attachment lug because this shoots mega rounds. Um, has a little fake cosmetic uh, tube part here for your ammo. Uh, Let's call it an internal magazine, realistically, but, uh, anyway, the whole of this blaster, what you do is you pull back on this, and that un unleech it, uh, uh, uncovers a internal magazine where you can put four mega darts into. You just simply load them in by pressing them into the breech. This, again, holds a capacity of four mega da darts. I would love to see this thing modified to shoot other rounds, maybe like ultra rounds, maybe straight. But once it's in there, it's a really strong blaster, it's a really loud blaster, it's really oversized. It's a nice blaster. Oh, in general, it shoots, again, four mega darts. Oh, that went back and hit me in the eye. <laughs> Stupid mega dart. <laughs> Blooper. But uh, anyway, I'm keeping that in the video. Content. <laughs> Um, going to the stock of this blaster, um, it has a little, uh, ammo storage compartment here that holds four mega rounds, or maybe you could fit a Twinkie in there or something, just for, like, storage. If you can, if you really want to, if you're using a, uh, this is like a backup weapon, maybe you can hold some elite darts in here if you're using, a, like, an elite blaster, maybe, like, turbine, good example, good blaster. Watch my uh, newest video coming out on that blaster, which is the last video I made. But uh, anyway, this guy shoots pretty hard. Um, has a really, really big breach in there. You can see that. And uh, yeah, no, this thing operates pretty smooth. Um, of course, there is no in strike tactical attachments here because how is the slide going to go back if there was a rail here and how is that set supposed to be there or this so uh there was really no room to add that anywhere but uh it's a shame but why would you need this optic on a shotgun i mean come on 
Like, this thing is already so far down here that it doesn't even matter. You don't need an optic. And if you want to look super close, there's a little guy. I, I, You could definitely not see it here. There's not enough lighting, but there's a little guy dabbing on here. <laughs> Um, detail is quite nice. It looks really, uh, really close to the actual game's weapon. And, of course, this barrel goes shortened and then it widens just so it doesn't look like an actual, uh, or an actual firearm. It has these little, uh, bolts that are strapped onto the blaster here that are, huh, actually they're quite wiggly. Hmm. But I don't, I don't care. They're cosmetic pieces and I'm not going to be using them bunch it says Fortnite on this side this one is painted black and this one has some dents in it uh this side has some dents in it this one also but the the Fortnite isn't paint, painted black it's just plain red i'm not sure why they keep doing that but uh they do that if you were to paint black the blaster you can notice on both sides there there is a small little llama here if you guys can get some good lighting in there i can show you to see but you can see it there bam on both of the sides it has a little uh, llama imprinted it is like supposed to look like it's been battle damaged um it's pretty good faster. again holds four rounds if you need to you can put four rounds in here as well it include it comes with eight darts so i'm assuming you're gonna put some in the back storage stock this, this is a new storage stock for a Mega Blaster. Now, this stock itself is actually quite slick. And I don't like how slick it is because you're going to need some force to push it back. But if you pu if you push it in a weird angle, it's going to slip off. If you, like, I don't know why you would ever do this, but if you were to try to go like that, it really just wants to slip, slide off your arm like that. So if you were to, like, try to, like, push it against your shoulder, it would slide off to the side. And it's kind of uncomfortable, but, uh... It will have to work. I mean, they should at least shouldn't have put some grip on there. It's just a flat piece of plastic. Like, everything else is textured. Besides the stock, <laughs> like, the handle is textured. The handle is really, really, really uncomfortable because it's so... It's big, but it's really blocky. Like, this is just flat. Like, the entire Fortnite franchise with their Nerf Blasters, they have real, real blocky stuff. Like, too blocky and it's really annoying and i hate it i wish they wouldn't do that but uh going on with features they have this little uh these, these little tube parts that are actually you can like stick something in there i don't know why you would but you could if you wanted to there's a little fake breach here like for an actual shotgun that would where that would be where the shotgun or the shotgun shells would uh eject out of a real shotgun or a real firearm. Now, the trigger pull, it does something weird with this, uh, watch. I'm pulling the trigger, and it kind of moves the slide back a little bit, which is kind of uncomfortable, because then it, like, kind of, like, makes your trigger pull feel weird if you were to hold it up, but if you were to kind of just put your, uh, that roam around. Oh, man, I didn't mean to do that. This blaster also has slam fire has a pretty long slide. It looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of glad I got this for my birthday. But, um, yeah, it's just essentially a really, really oversized Mega Magnus. Now, let's get into the firing demo. Shooting regular Mega Darts. Never land. Shooting at the 
box in the slam fire mode this time. Magazine malfunction. Another magazine malfunction. Man, this door just really doesn't want to load in there. Does he? Poor dart. Retry. Now, to be 100% honest, this thing does like to jam on me a lot. Two shots in. Nice. That's going to conclude the firing demo. Operating this blaster is a breeze, but although it gets jammed a lot. Now, in order to counteract this jam, sometimes it's pushed in all the way and you're going to need a little unjamming button to double prime it. And the unjamming button is located right on this little red strap. Uh, you can see it right there. So, uh, yeah. Interesting blaster. Now, do I recommend it? Um, well, let's see. I would recommend it if you guys like Fortnite, but performance, performance uh, nerf players, I think that you would also like this blaster. But the only problem is with this blaster is it jams a lot. In other words, it's just a, let's say, a bigger, more expensive, extra capacity, storage stocked, co cosmetic. Mega Magnus, that's a lot bigger, and of course, maybe a little bit more powerful. Now, if I, if you guys have ever seen Walcom and Walcom, you guys know Walcom S7. He is a really professional. He's a professional YouTuber. If you guys are nerfers, I'd highly suggest going to his channel if you don't already know him. But Walcom said that this is the uh, the best Fortnite nerf blaster that's come out to date. He's right. <laughs> All the other Fortnite blasters that I have don't even compare to this blaster. But before this video ends, I'm going to be doing a double review because I have another Mega Nerf blaster up there that is also a Fortnite blaster. It's kind of like a... I'll grab it now. But here's the thing. The reason why I don't want to do a, this video separately is because it's modified slightly. I'll show you guys. Instead of saving you guys, instead of just like doing what I usually do, setting that like a nice little spot to set. Oh, I have some stuff in my set. Oh, I'm gonna clean that up real fast. Okay, so in, uh, usually I just put it up against something solid to angle it more that way. But as since you guys can clearly see this, and you can see me shooting the actual blaster itself, I thought just why not go ahead and you know. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's shoot some rival rounds now. Easy, nice and quick. Rating this blaster is nice and simple. Um, I would definitely not recommend this if you're a performance nerfer, but if you guys like Fortnite, then I'd recommend this blaster. Pretty strong Mega Blaster single shot. Again, with the the Fortnite tactical shotgun, there's a llama hiding inside the breach. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool blaster. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you... I... Did you believe you tried that? Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below what you content you guys want to see next. Hope you guys enjoyed this video again. Now, if you did, please let me know in the comment section below again. <laughs> So, uh, my name is Forever Owl. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below <laughs> for that third time. Um, yeah, so stay safe, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.